pass your memory back and ask yourself, how could you have faced COVID under Frondel and them? Cast your mind back and ask yourself, how could you as a public servant, they're talking about Tony sell out, sell out my foot. And I've come to talk seriously because you need to understand that to do things right, it takes time. You understand? Anybody who wants to warm up a piece of bread in the microwave, after 10 seconds, it gone rubbery. You put it in the oven, and all of a sudden it tastes good. But it can't get it in 10 seconds. It takes time. And regrettably, we live in a world where everybody likes things instantaneously. But we all know that too much fast food not good for you. So that all I am asking the people of this nation is to keep faith. And when it came to examining where we are in this country in 2020 and where we need to go and what is happening with people who may want to take and make workers the first people to fall as the Democratic Labour Party has consistently done, we said no. That philosophically, Glenn, you and I talked. And when we looked around us, the first body I spoke to about Tony was Glenn Clark. The first body I spoke to was Glenn. Because we needed to be able to ensure, Tony, that in your coming here, that you are given one vacative from a party that is born labor, still labor, will always be labor. That labor is not just in the middle of our name. Labor is in our blood. Labor is in what we do, what we talk, who we protect. This is who we are. That is the foundation. But similarly, that in you, you also give us the opportunity to be able to work with you to strengthen what is possible. And you said it on this platform tonight. It's not just about wages. At the end of the day, if you give a man money rather than teaching him how to fish, where is he better off? He's better off when he knows how to fish. 